Hello guys. Um, today I'm going to show you some of the stuff we have on our TechIt server in Minecraft and also probably encourage you to join the server and start building with us and having general fun because it is fun to play TechIt with some friends. So um, we have this little server here. Uh, it's called Friends, claiming friends of multiple destruction. As you can see, we have our little corporation going on. There's the uh, there's the HQ, FFMD Incorporated, up on the uh, the hill thingy. That's where we started. Then uh, I decided to build this uh, this industrial hall here. The F from the hall, uh, which is the uh, center for for all for all our industry right now. Uh, that's me and my friend. Uh, two other friends of ours build stuff separately. They don't belong to the corporation, so they have a farm going right here. Uh, it's it's actually become more on a farm right now, or the house. The guy living in that house uh, is very technologically advanced. Actually, he he has the advantage over us, me and my friend. So we're doing our best right now to just, you know, catch up with him, maybe even get ahead of him. And we actually got some stuff to, to make this happen. Uh, we get some really good tools, expensive but really good tools, allowing us to get access to things that we couldn't get before, uh, such as the uh, transmutation tablet, for example. Uh, it's it's a block from the uh, how's it called equivalent exchange mod which is one of the mods in TechIt. It allows you to uh, convert any item into ECM units, uh, which is what you later use to convert it back to items, which is really, really nice. You can, for example, create diamonds when you, you know, gather enough, gather enough stuff to do that. So well, mm -hmm. we have all this, as I said, I'm going to take you to the hole, show you our machinery. Uh, here we have a quarry going, it's already dug a long way down. Uh, uh, another, another useful tool that I managed to get is the full of the first stone. It's, uh, I can't really describe how useful that thing is. It's simply incredible. If you look at the enchantments on my bow and on my ruby sword, they're absolutely overpowered right now. Guess what? I didn't pay a level for them. All this was gotten from the Philosopher's Stone, which allows you to... Just let me show it to you actually. When you press C, while having the love of her stone out, a crafting menu appears, just like as if you pressed the right mouse button on the crafting wheel. Then you can do stuff here, I'm not going to describe it to you now. Anyway, when you press X now, an enchanting GUI appears. You can enchant stuff up to level 10, whatever your level is. You just put stuff here, whether it's uh, a, a tool or a weapon or or a piece of armor, just put it here and you choose your enchantment, they're all described. It's it's really really nice. So for example my sword sets things on fire for a long time. Uh, but usually this long time is not necessary because the targets just die after one hit or two hits. Uh, the knockback effect is so powerful in fact that uh, Whenever something approaches me, I just smack it once, and it's on the other side of wherever I am. It's that powerful. What else is there? Uh, sharpness. Well, that, that, that just makes it more deadly. 
Combo I have Infinity 1, which makes it so that I have no, I don't have to use arrows. Uh, punch, which is basically the same thing as knockback here. Uh, power, which is the same as sharpness here, and flame, which is the same as fire aspect. Uh, it's really amazing. Totally, totally amazing. Uh, one might say that these are overpowered. Well, I agree. Uh, at some point, but not really, since to get them you have to get the Philosopher's Stone, which is not a cheap thing to get. Uh, it involves diamonds, so that's, you know... Mm, the good thing about it is, though, that uh, when you create things using the Philosopher's Stone, you don't lose the Philosopher's Stone. You just have to charge it once in a while. Uh, this is my geothermal generator. Uh, it's filled with lava, but it doesn't generate energy. That's a secret to me, I don't know why it behaves like that. Uh, but it's weird. It used to power the quarry, you know. Here's a block that uh, uh, it translates the uh, industrial craft energy into build craft energy. Then it's carried through these pipes to the quarry that I already showed you. Uh, I have some furnaces here, and this is a system of pipes that uh, goes down, down on the ground. Uh, while I'm down there mining, because that's where our mine is, uh, I just carry the resources to a chest. I don't have to go back up, and they automatically go up here, they get sorted this pipe. Coal. Uh, coal goes here and powers the furnaces. It's distributed among them. And uh, iron goes here into the macerator, which is an extremely useful tool. Uh, it's supposed to be macerating copper now, but uh, it's, it's not working. I don't know why it's not working. Be working because the geothermal generator is all juiced up, the bad boxes are all juiced up. These things should be working. The generator has no fuel, but that doesn't matter really. Uh, I wonder if maybe we can like put some water cell in here to just cool it or something. No, well, that wouldn't make much sense, I guess. Anyway. Uh, here's the transportation headlock that I told you about. It's really awesome. So I put a, uh, I, I put a piece of bread here. I get 72 EMC for that, and I can spend it on anything that's appearing here. So, for example, I can get three wheat for that, and I'm still left with some EMC. Uh, the basic blocks like gravel, dirt, marble, and so on, the really cheap. So it can generate incredible amounts of, of crap by just putting one expensive item in, in there. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty much what I wanted to show you about uh, about the server. That's what's going on, pretty much. Uh, we would be super happy if someone wanted to join us and you know just start helping with 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 you know. Well, going for the future, for, for the birthday, because uh, FFMD Incorporated, it, it, it's not about money, you know. We're even eco-friendly. We have, uh, the, the hull is supplied by the water generators that you see on the water there, and the solar generators, plus the geothermal generator, there's not a single chimney going, going out. Not a single kilogram of CO2 is released into the atmosphere, plus we have planted trees all around the hole, just to keep it clean. Oh, by the way, now, now that I see that ice, you might be wondering, how did ice appear here? Well, I'll tell you, the Philosopher's Stone has one more secret ability, which is really cool too. See, this used not to be sand. That was dirt, like everything around. But when you have the Philosopher's Stone, it 
equipped and you right click on something, it changes. Uh, it changes blocks depending on what block you're clicking. So this is cobblestone here. Click, turns to stone. Click, turns back to cobblestone. Shift click, turns to dirt. Shift click, turns to cobblestone. Shift click, turns to dirt. Now if I press right click, it'll just turn to sand and fall down. So I, I'm, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> because I have a purpose for this little cave here. Uh, we have a little cacti plantation going on, uh, just for uh, for the pipe isolations. Mm. Also, as you can see, Mark and my hub, there's a coast of oil across the ocean. Uh, there is a there is an island, well, a continent. It's it's, it's rather big, uh, a desert biome on which uh, there is a couple of spawns of oil and we intend on extracting that one day uh, we're just still trying to figure out how to transport the oil back here without using you know like half a kilometer of, of pipes that, that would be really annoying to build not really expensive but you know placing all that it would be a pain in the ass well okay uh, that's the end of the video for now. Uh, I just want to say that, you know, you should try. The server is really fun. We, we're looking for, you know, calm people, creative people. You don't, you don't even have to know tech it too much. We are going to be more than happy to teach you all that we know. Plus, uh, give you some, some, some really useful tips on what we have learned for now. Uh, also, if you want to gain more knowledge on Techit, just visit the Techit uh, wiki. It's very useful. I mean, I, I, I couldn't do anything without it, I think. <laughs> well, just like the rest of the Techit users, because Techit is such a such a complex mod pack. There's really no way to, to, to wrap your mind around it just without using any external knowledge. Well, that's everything for me. That was Darkman. FFMB server, join us. Uh, PM me for details. I'm, I'm not going to publish the AP on YouTube because uh, I know from experience that this is kind of dangerous. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you're all invited. We can share stuff. You can belong to the company. <laughs>